Next day, please don't attack me, Tadu. It attacks Cuckoo! And Cuckoo- Oh my gosh! Cuckoo was just knocked down in like one or like three blows. Oh my gosh! Cuckoo! Our little albino creature! He's just dead! No, avenge Cuckoo. I feel like Cuckoo was kind of like our mascot. Like, Cuckoo didn't have any good genes really, but he was like our mascot. He was just kind of there to urge us on. Um, so yeah, we're in a bit of a, a predicament here. Hello, everybody. I shard 2003 K.A. Campton here today, bringing you guys a brand new episode of Niche. Now, um, last episode, I kind of regretfully left y'all off at a cliffhanger. And, um, yeah. Things are a little interesting. Don't worry, this barina is a friendly barina. Um, so, Sissy right here uh, should be totally, totally fine. I hope. So, basically, we tried to mate Sissy with this barina to see if we could have offspring with it. It didn't work. Instead, the barina, like, reared on us and is staring at us. So, I don't know if it's like now we're gonna try to mate with us or if it's gonna try to eat us because it's mad because we didn't get its consent or anything like that i have no idea what's going on so um cuckoo you have one move left and you're gonna have to protect sissy which you're not the smartest of our creatures so i'm just gonna move a couple other creatures over just in case you know um things get a little a little crazy um, why don't, who else is a good fighter? I don't know if we even have very good fighters. Um, you know what, you, you, uh, Nutadu can, can move over for now. Um, I'm just really worried. I just kind of want to watch, uh, Sissy and make sure all is okay over there. Um, but you, Kutakir, I have neglected you because when you were born, I looked at your genetics, and they were actually really good genetics. I think you had maybe one flaw, um, which was, I think it was just that low fertility, um, possibly, but your eyesight's good, and you're, you've got the big nose, which we want, both dominant and recessive. Um, you've got big body, lean body, I mean, you've got some pretty sweet genetics here. So what we need to do with you is we need you to breed with somebody because I have just neglected you. So how many days do you have left? 13 days. You should have enough time. Uh, if we can take a look, where's our family tree at? Right here. If we take a look at our family tree. Let's see. You're right here in the family tree. Who are you not related to or at least distantly related to that we could um, possibly meet you with? Um, well, of course, we're gonna want to get a girl, a female, um, wait, Marer? Wasn't I calling Marer a male in the last episode? Marer, you're not a male, you're a female, darling. I'm sorry if I, if I, uh, assumed your gender. That wasn't very nice of me. Um, let's see. So we got Rara, uh, Sira. And then Marer as our females. Well, it seems like Marer is possibly the best fit for you. Let me see. Good. Oh, wait. Marer does have the hemophilia. But despite that, I think. Oh, and some short sighted eyes. I mean, Marer is not the best, but you do. Marer does have some uh, good. Uh, what's it called? Cosmetics. Now let's take a look at immunity. Marer has I and H, and you have D and uh, Home Island uh, immunity. So you guys actually would be a perfect fit. So what I want y'all to do is why don't you... You've got three moves left, right? Why don't you collect some berries? Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to move you. Okay, well, I guess you're moved. So why don't you hop over here next to the nest. We can get Marer. To see if she can, uh, you know, scavenge over and uh, get to ya. So that way y'all can have a kid. I guess we'll have to do that in the morning. Uh, why don't you, Rarara? You have lived a good life. You still have a lot longer to live. 
Um, I mean, you're just a really awesome creature. You've had lots of babies so far. Um, and I do believe we have looked at your newest child, Van Cuckoo. Um, I believe, yeah, I remember some of these genetics. Uh, oh no, I'm looking at Kutakiter. Um, you know, Van Cuckoo isn't that bad of a creature either. I mean, you're probably even better than, um, than old Kutakiter. Yeah, because you got those big eyes. The only thing I don't like about you is your derps now. But I think we can get past that in the future. So you're definitely, Van Cuckoo, you're definitely a creature we want to mate um, with somebody. And while I'm here and at it, Kutakiar, why don't I try to go into your mutation menu before I forget um, when mating y'all. And see if I can um, try to get some of your bad traits out. So, or, or, or Marair, you know. So I think we need normal blood clotting. We definitely want um, to try to fix that. Let's give you... Should we just focus on blood clotting for right now? I mean, we do need better fertility. Um, but Marair does have that good fertility anyway, so there is a chance we'll still get it. So let's try to focus on that blood clotting, because we've had lots of problems with it already. And Marair, you haven't had a child yet, right? You're all good? Yeah, you're all good, Marina. You, you need a child. Um, Alright, let's come up here to Van Kerker and see if you can collect some berries right here. Um, Van Kerker, you're not that, um, you know, we haven't really looked at you very much. I don't think you're very, um, oh, you've got two days left. I was going to say, well, I don't think you ever mated or anything like that. But, yeah, I don't think you have very much longer to live. And let me take a look at your genetics. Mmm... You're not the the most rounded creature we've ever had, so yeah, you're you're just kind of our berry collector, our little uh, scavenger. You know, you're important in your own way um, by helping the tribe get some food. And then we have you down here, Sierra. And oh yeah, that's right. Weren't you attacked by uh, the mother bear? You know, last episode. Yeah, and you have two days left to live because of your hemophilia. So you're just gonna be a berry collector. Um, for the rest of your life, um, which is pretty sad. And I think you were the one I was trying to mate with Marair, but you, of course, couldn't because you're a female. I thought it was because of the blood clotting, but nope. None of you guys brought that to my attention last episode. I thought Marair was a male, and apparently not, because she's a female. So I'm sorry, Marair, for mistaking your identity. Um, at least you're going to get a baby, um, I guess. So... Let's just take a look. I guess we're done for today. Um, let me just, you can clear some grass around so we can see the all the action that's about to play out. Um, so we got Cuckoo and we've got New Taduk over here to get ready in case this uh, friendly Baryuna, this supposed friendly Baryuna gets any ideas. All right, so new day. Let's hope for the best. Okay. We're awake. And the Varian has, hasn't hurt anyone, have you? No, you haven't hurt anyone. Okay. Can I try to, to mate with you again? I'm a little, a little nervous to do so, considering what you did last time. But, um... Let's try it. Nothing. Nothing. Come on! <gasps> Finally, we got her pregnant! Okay, good. And I think the Varina is fine with it. I don't think the Varina wants to hurt anyone. Oh, I'm so relieved because I thought he was. All right. Well, I want to have our males move out. Um, they can go on their way. Actually, Cuckoo, why don't you try to um, extend our territory a bit more and just try to uh, clean up. Ooh, do we have some prey over here? Heap of meat. Okay, sure. I'll just pick that up. I don't know what we killed there. Maybe it was a rabbit or something um, that I forgot about. All right, Nutadic, you can move back over this away. And uh, I guess some collect some berries. What, Nutaduk? Do you have any um, purpose in the tribe yet? Oh yeah, you've had uh, some children. Oh yeah, you were uh, Mila's Mila's mate. Or no, you're Mila's son. That's right. Oh, I miss Mila. Look, Mila's like about to like go off the the family tree. Oh, poor Mila. She was the best creature, I have to admit it. I mean, her tail was a little wacky, and she didn't have big snout like I wanted. Um, but, and she did have that hemophilia. I mean, she had a few flaws, but overall, she was probably the best creature 
of her time. And we had Anasi, the Cheese Mouse, we had uh, Nukir, we had Duke Van, uh, all our deceased all uh, lined up in the family tree. How sad, how sad. But, uh, Nutaduk, I was looking at you. Now, what are your genetics? You actually don't have too bad of genetics yourself, aside from your hemophilia um, and your low fertility. So, yeah, we need to get to you a mate as well. So, we need, um, or no, you do have a mate. Who is your mate? Your mate's Rarara! Why did I forget about that? You guys were like the perfect couple. That's right. Speaking of which, I think you and Rarara, how many days does Rarara have left? Ten, and how many do you have left? You have five. So I think you guys need to have a few more babies while you're at it. So why don't you collect some berries? Um, Rarara, how about your child moves out of the nest, um, helps us collect some berries. And then what you can do is you can hop into the nest and get ready for tomorrow. Um, let's see. Kutak here, I don't know if we have any any good um, mates for you at the moment. Because Marer is going to be mating with... Um, who is it? They're going to be mating with uh, our creature that you were going to be mating with. And then... Um, or no, it was Cuckoo. No, not Cuckoo. Not Cuckoo at all. Um, you are mating with Marer. What am I even talking about? Of course you are. All right. So Marer, that's what you need to do right now. You need to hop into your nest, and then let's see if we can work some magic here. See if we can get you pregnant. No. Ah, there we go. Now we got it. All right. So you are expecting a baby in the morning. Oh, we need to get a uh, sissy to a nest um, in the morning as well. Do we have another nest or do we only have, um, we only have two. I thought we had another nest. It's just on another complete side of the island or I don't think we have another nest. Okay, well if we wake up in the morning, Marer will have her baby. Um, or no, because the baby will be in the nest. I don't really know what to do um, with you, sissy. We'll, we'll figure it right out in time. And I don't know what to do with the friendly Berena now. We don't really need a babysit it anymore now that it um, comes used to us. Maybe if it stays around, we can mate with it a bit more in the future. But, uh, yeah. For now, let's just, um, yeah, new day. Oh no! The Baronina ran off! Oh, okay. Bye bye, Baronina. I mean, it's not too far away. It's like, where? Where is it? Can I s smell it or whatever? Yeah, it's only like right inside that thing of grass. But, um, it's gone. It's gone. It, it, it's, it's left. It's leaving. So I'll let it leave. I'll let it leave. It, it deserves to go. <gasps> Who are you? You're orange, and I love orange. Orange is my favorite color. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that we're breeding a uh, red uh, creature with a yellow creature, and we're going to have orange, and you also have white, and I really like white and orange, and that looks really, really cute. What's your name? Isla. Oh, uh-oh. You have really poor speed, it looks like, but let's take a look at your actual genetics. Um... Good eyesight, good. You have double big ears. Oh, yay. And you're a female. We've been needing more females. Yes. All right. You also have big nose, big body, lean body. Is the hemophilia gone? Ah, oh, we still have a little bit of hemophilia, but that's fine. That's okay. We'll, we'll read that out in time. Um, and then you get your immunity is good. Your uh, fertility is decent. Yes, another wonderful creature. I love you. Um, alright, so you look lovely, um, I guess your parents will just kind of stay close while you wake up. Um, uh, we might have to trade Marer out of the nest when Sissy has to come, or, you know what, Rarara, um, I think you can wait a couple more days before you have your baby, because how many days does Mutaduk have left? Four days, so we can have Sissy's child and then your child in no time. All right, so Sissy, you hop in the nest. You're about to expect um, your first child, which is exciting because it's taken us forever. I remember, like, from your time at birth, we were like, you and the Barina are going to end up together someday, and it finally happened. So I'm really excited for that. Um, poor Cuckoo. He doesn't have any romance or anything. He's just over here like, oh, gosh, I forgot that Barina was there. Oh, that scared me. 
Um, you don't have any love story or anything. You're just hanging out. Uh, Alright, you can collect a berry new title again. I'm gonna have you come your, this way over by your mate. So that way when we do read you guys, get all ready to gather. Um, Alright, I guess um, Sissy, you're about to have your child. So uh, let's take a look at what we get. I don't know what we're supposed to be getting. Oh! How do we get you from the Berina? Do we get any traits from the Berina? We got we got Berina Snout Recessive. What does Berina Snout do? And Berina Claw? I like I have like this accent that I use all these for. Um, Berina Ears. Okay, so you've got Berina Ears. You have Berina Snout. You have Berina Claw. Berina Highlet Hinds Legs. It looks like all of your Berina Berina. I can't say this. Berina traits are recessive, except for the claw. Huh. Nice. Oh, you got hemophilia. Purely hemophilia. Okay, we don't want you to get into any fighting. How is your fighting, anyway? Your strength is 5. Okay, your speed's not too good in your swimming. I mean, swimming doesn't matter for right now. But, hmm. You're a pretty interesting creature. And what's your name again? Rorakir. Ooh, that's a nice name. Alright, well, Rorakir, welcome to the tribe. Oh, the, is the Berina coming back? <laughs> I guess the Berina's coming back. Berina, you want to come back for once and not run off? Maybe we can have another uh, child with you. Um, but you, Cuckoo, can just clear some berries or whatnot. I don't really care. Um, you're not really the creature we want to breed with. You're just kind of our backup in case anything ever goes wrong. Ooh, um, Isla, you have waken up. Come out of the nest for the first time, why don't ya? And then Merer, you can hop. Um, where, you, where do you want to go? Let's have you come over to, um, you can come over to, like, this berry bush and just collect some berries. There you go. Um, I will have another child with you because uh, Kutaki has ten days left and you have how many days left? Oh, five days left. But I think that should be um, fine there. All right, so you can collect some berries. Why don't you, Van Cuckoo, collect some berries? Um, all right, and I forgot. There's something I've been forgetting throughout this whole series. And what is it? Episode 11 now, and I haven't remembered this. Um, I remember seeing this when it, before the game even came out during beta. You can actually change the color of your creature's gemstones on their chest, which is like, you can use to like symbolize rankings in the tribe, which I think is really cool. And maybe if I ever wanted to like mate some creatures together, I could like mark them by uh, who it is that's gonna be mating. I think that would be really, really cool to do. Oh, you're not hopping in the nest, new Taduk. You're, you're gonna wait for your, uh, your sweetheart to hop in the nest and then you guys, Oh, first try. There we go. That's how you do it, folks. Um, yeah. You guys are gonna have a baby in the morning. Why don't you, new Taduk, come out, um, this way by this berry bush that you can collect stuff from in the morning. Sissy, um, just hop to the side of the nest. Don't really leave it, but you can clear some grasses or whatnot. Um, because that's a, an important job, um, that I've been kind of, uh, le been lenient on lately. So, yeah. Um, everyone pretty good. Pretty much good for today. Why don't you come over, uh, Kutaki, and just like collect a singu singular berry? That's good. And I haven't even been coming over here. Yeah, both of our creatures over here have died. I forgot their names already, but R.I.P. Guys, R.I.P. You weren't the uh, most important creatures in this tribe. But I mean, um, who was it? The uh, no, not mutation menu. Uh, who was it that just died? Not Duke Fan. Um, uh, where's the other one? There's another one that just died. The girl that had the hemophilia. Did she just like get kicked out of the family tree? Oh, that's sad. Um, but yeah, she uh, did fight off against our Baronina uh, mother that we fought last episode. So that was a pretty important job. Um, but yeah, Rorara, you have another baby awaiting you. I feel like Rorara is like the mother of like all creatures in the tribe, it feels like. So she's just the ultimate mother, it seems. But yeah, next day, let's see. Ooh, a little black creature. You know what? Who, what does this remind me of? Um, you remind me of a, uh, when I first saw you, what did I think? I think like a black cat, like a black panther. Raduk. Ooh, nice name. You look like a powerful creature. I mean, I know you're a baby, but you look powerful nonetheless. 
good eyesight, good, everything looks good, right? Um, big nose, everything good here. Ooh, you got stinky tail, hmm, okay. Uh, no hemophilia, that's a good sign. Um, yeah, you look like you're gonna be a pretty good creature. I, I think you guys would be good. Now, I know I'm playing ahead a little too early, but we've got three babies right here. We have Van Cuckoo, Esla, and Raduk. I wonder which of you guys would make good mates in the future. Man, Cuckoo, you are already um, grown, full grown, so it wouldn't take too long for the others to mate with you. Um, really, I mean, maybe, uh, oh, or no, because Raduk's a male, so you wouldn't be able to mate with him anyway. But um, Isla, would Isla and Van, uh, Van Cuckoo make a good couple? Let's see, Van Cuckoo. Um, no hemophilia. You do have hemophilia, but we can try to breed that out. Um, for the most part, I think, yeah, I think y'all would be nice together. And then we had you over here, Van, uh, Rarak here. Wait, didn't we have another female around here? I, I think Isla is our only new female. Do we have a female that still needs a knit? Wait, is that a friendly berry? No, nope, that's a whole new berina. Oh my gosh, we have another baby berina and its mother um, around here. I don't know. Should we try to keep it? No, just fight it off. Fight it off. We don't want you here. Uh, Sissy, I know that you had um, a thing going with berinas. I think you, you, you liked them, but um, we need to get rid of this guy. Oh no, who has hemophilia? We can't send a hemophilia creature into battle. Um, um, most of us do have hemophilia. Nutaduk. I'm gonna regret this because you have hemophilia and you're a really important creature to us, but I need you to go into battle. I'm gonna have to make a sacrifice here. Um, Marer, uh, do you, are you good at fighting? Um, you're decent. Um, you've got double hemophilia. No, we can't send you. And you got, uh, I don't know what to do. You don't have, uh, Vancouver, you don't have any, um, anything, any, uh, hemophilia. So we'll send you into, oh, but you're not gonna get a hit on him. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, next day, please don't attack me, Tadu. It attacks Cuckoo! And Cuckoo, oh my gosh! Cuckoo was just knocked down in like one or like three blows. Oh my gosh! Cuckoo! Our little albino creature! He's just dead! No, avenge Cuckoo. I feel like Cuckoo was kind of like our mascot. Like, Cuckoo didn't have any good genes, really, but he was like our mascot. He was just kind of there to urge us on. He's kind of like a mentor to Sissy, if you think about it. But yes, I did notice this little um, squirrel hop in back here. Um, Sisla. Um, you're a female. We do need a female. You've got short sighted eyes. Not the best. Double hemophilia? No. Uh-uh, 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 I don't like your genetics at all, my dear. All right, you can wander around, but you better not take our food or anything. Oh, we have another bit friendly berina. Should we just let it hang around until, you know, we want it to hang out with us some more? Yeah, it can just hang around. It won't hurt us. Um, or, wait, do we have to invite it into our tribe in order for it to... In order for it to not hurt us, I think I want to do that just to make sure it doesn't hurt us in the future. Yeah, it's a friendly Brenna, I think, forever now. So we should be good. We should be good. All right, down here, you guys can go ahead and collect some berries. Um, actually, I think you might need to mate soon because you have eight days left and you have three days left. Yeah, okay. So Rarara and Raduk, y'all hop out of the nest. Um, uh, Rarara, you can come down and collect some berries, um, cause I know that's one of your favorite things to do. Um, you, Isla, until we grow up to have a mate, you can just be a berry collector. Um, Kutakir, get your wife into the nest. Um, Marer, can I not move you all the way into the nest? There we go, we've got two tries at this, one, oh my gosh, there we go! One try, that's all we need. Um, and then why don't you just kind of come and protect her or whatnot. Um, and then you, rock here. you are old enough to get out of the nest. We will want to mate with you in the future to pass on those Berina traits. Um, so yeah. And then Mankuku, you can, uh, clear out some stuff here. And Nutaduk, 
you can come down and uh, what was I gonna do? You were gonna try to mate with Rarara again. So can I mate you guys? Oh, I should have done the mutation menu, but you guys are mated or are mating. So and you only have one day left anyway. So I guess whatever we get, we get, and we don't throw a fit. So uh, yeah, are all of our creatures good? Actually, you and Cuckoo can move again. Have to look at all these moles down here. We should really take advantage of these guys because they're all over the islands, and I never uh, take advantage of them. So yeah, maybe we should try to hunt those in the next episode. But yeah, ooh, we're doing good, guys. We're doing good. We're having lots of babies. Look at our family. We just have like a bunch, of, like a huge variety of diff different animals. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, it looks like all's well in the Adams tribe, and hopefully, uh, next episode we can keep it that way. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye! Ishard is meowed.